I'm often asked, I just bought a brand new pair of shoes. Should I shine them before I wear them for the first time? Well, if you've invested in a high quality pair of dress shoes and you wish to maintain and care for them properly so they will last you for years to come, you should absolutely shine them before you take them out for a stroll. Remember, many new shoes spend weeks and maybe months on a shelf before they sell. In such cases, these pairs have been sitting high and dry for a long time and desperately need some care before being worn. These walnut strands by Allen Edmonds are brand new and are going to get a great shine today. Saphir Renovator is really an amazing product. It nourishes and hydrates leather really well and leaves a nice shine when brushed. It's a great investment for all your shoes since it's neutral colored. I use Renovator on all my calfskin shoes. Don't forget that leather is literally skin. It needs nourishment just like our dry skin sometimes needs lotion. When properly cared for, leather will literally last a lifetime. In fact, a couple of years ago, a perfectly preserved leather shoe was found in Armenia that is over 5,000 years old. Leather is one of the oldest and best materials humans use. As you can see, it's perfectly acceptable to use either light brown or cognac colored cream on this tan walnut finish. Aside from using neutral cream, there's really no such thing as a perfect match. So depending on what shade you want to accentuate, either of these creams will do just fine. Light brown will bring out the yellow, tan, and golden shades in walnut, while cognac will bring out the orange, medium brown, and amber shades in a more pronounced way. Introducing pigment is a great way to cover abrasions and even out the color on a pair of shoes. After many applications throughout the duration of the shoe's life, you'll see a beautiful patina begin to develop. Wear your shoes with pride and purpose. Each pair shares a story worth telling. A lot of people don't actually know this, but Allen Edmonds conducted a survey and found that almost 60% of all women judge a man's fashion sense, personality, financial position, and attention to detail based solely on his shoes. I think the moral of the story is that people actually notice your shoes, so it's a good idea to keep them shined. My dad taught me early on that a man should always care for and polish his shoes. In fact, he told me a pretty funny story. When he was a young boy, my grandma bought him a new pair of shoes he did not like, so... Knowing he would get a new pair of shoes when this pair was worn down, he purposely used sandpaper and made a hole in the soles of one of the shoes. When my grandma found out, she was livid and she scolded him and didn't buy him a new pair but made him wear the damaged pair to teach him a lesson. He said he never forgot that and swore to care for his shoes the rest of his life. And he did. He has since passed that tradition to me and I am really grateful for it. I have taken that advice to heart and continue to shine my shoes regularly. It's a calming ritual that helps me to stop and to relax. Wax polish is vitally important. It doesn't contain much pigment, but that's not really its purpose. Wax is used not only to produce a much higher shine than cream, 
but it also serves to protect your shoes from dust, debris, and water droplets. It's the layer that seals everything in and adds a smooth luster to the whole shoe. As you can see, brushing the wax has produced a very nice and smooth shine. You would be completely justified stopping here, but the owner of this pair wants a mirror shine finish, so I'm going to get started on the process. If you need an in-depth guide, please check out the video tutorial I made. I will leave a link in the description of the video. I'm pretty happy with the results. I hope the owner likes them. Thanks for stopping by and visiting with me. If you would like to see more, please check out my other videos. If you've liked this tutorial, like this video and subscribe. I will be posting more in the future. Look for me on Facebook and Instagram at The Elegant Oxford.